Today we're diving into the captivating realm of matter, the stuff that makes up everything around us. Get ready to explore the fantastic differences between solids, liquids, and gases, all through the magical lens of density and the particle theory of matter. Now, let's talk about solids. Solids are like a close-knit group of marbles, all huddled together. The particles in solids are tightly packed and don't have much room to move. Because of this, solids are usually denser than liquids and gases. It's like a tightly packed crowd at a concert. Now let's move on to liquids. Imagine you're at a water park. Liquids are like those enthusiastic water molecules moving around but still sticking together. The particles in liquids have a bit more freedom to move compared to solids, so liquids are less dense. Picture a busy dance floor with enough space to groove. And then there's gases, the life of the party in the world of matter. Imagine a bunch of balloons filled with helium floating around the room. Gases are like those energetic balloons bouncing off walls and zooming in all directions. The particles in gases are spread out and have lots of space to move, so gases are even less dense than liquids. All these differences in density are beautifully explained by the particle theory of matter. Imagine tiny invisible particles that make up everything. In solids, these particles are tightly packed, leading to high density. In liquids, the particles are more spread out, resulting in lower density. And in gases, the particles are bouncing around freely, creating the lowest density. So whether it's the solid ground beneath your feet, the refreshing liquid in your drink, or the invigorating air you breathe, remember that density is like a magical fingerprint that tells us how matter behaves in its different states.